Keep your heads up and your arms covered, my beautiful family in Jesus Christ. Here's the verse of the day, and it's Psalms 119, 11. Thy word have I hidden mine heart, that I might not sin against thee. So if you haven't already done it, now's the time to repent. The kingdom of heaven is near. And most of you are watching. So most of you know the word. But some of you don't. So let me make it clear. Genesis 1.14 And God said, let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs and for seasons and for days and years. And then Jesus Christ came, God in the flesh, and he said, and there shall be signs in the sun and in the moon and in the stars and upon the earth the stress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. And guess how the wise men found Jesus Christ? Matthew 2.2 2, saying, where is he that is born of the Jews? For we have seen his star in the east and are come to worship him. Matthew 2.10, when they saw the star... They rejoiced with exceeding great joy. So if any of you that are listening don't believe Jesus Christ, the red word, the bread of life, and you don't believe that the signs are in the sun and the moon and the stars, that's between you and Jesus Christ. Pray about it. Me personally, all glory to our Father, I only follow Jesus Christ and no one else. And I believe every word he said. So I know exactly where the signs are. Right in your face. And there's no time to waste. So on to the signs. In the sun. And in the moon. And in the stars. Right where Jesus Christ said they would be. And they are. In all glory to our Father. I've already done six videos on the Revelation 12 sign. And the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet. And two live streams. And you've seen the title of the video, so let me show you what's up. And it's right there on the bottom right-hand corner. Caspar, one of the wise men that found Jesus Christ and showered him with three gifts. And there it is right there, also known as 3956 Caspar. And this is beyond gigantinormous. When you go to Strong's Bible Concordance for 3956, the definition is all, every, and the usage is all, the whole, every kind of. But here's the gigantinormous part. Under that, when you go to Helps Word Studies, right there, I just highlighted it, 3956 is the emphasis of the total picture that is on one piece at a time. Imagine that I got the Holy Spirit all over me, family. That's exactly what he's doing through us. He's showing us the whole picture, one piece at a time. It's only God's odds that the wise man named Caspar is in the Revelation 12 sign and is also known as 3956 and means the total picture. And for everyone that's saying only our father knows the day and hour, not even Jesus Christ. Yes, that's the truth. That's the word. And I'm not saying the day or the hour of the rapture. I'm pointing out the day that his sign takes place. I've already told you I'll never set a rapture date. And I'll also tell you that you'll never see a complete total picture like this, this clear ever again. And the rapture will happen sometime after this child is born. It's a fact, and it's a fact that the rapture is going to happen, and it's not going to happen at the second coming. At the end of the seven years, when we come back with Jesus Christ, with the new Jerusalem, people will not be eating and drinking and planting and building and buying and selling and getting married. They'll be running for their lives. Remember, God gives the angel the key to the bottomless pit. And the great tribulation starts in the middle of the seven years. When we come back with Jesus Christ, people will not be eating and drinking and planting and building and buying and selling and getting married. They will be running for their lives. They will be marked by the beast and they'll be getting beheaded. Which leads me to the next asteroid that he showed me. Herodias, it's right above Caspar. And as you can see right here, Herodias played a major role in John the Baptist's 
beheading. And remember, Jesus Christ said that John the Baptist, his cousin, had the spirit of Elijah. So it's not a coincidence that the asteroid 452 Elijah is right above Herodias. And it's not a coincidence that right above that is the Red Queen, and that represents beheading. And it's not a coincidence that right to the left of Elijah, 452, is the asteroid Isis. And to keep it real, this asteroid was named after a false god. And to keep it real, nowadays, Isis means the Islamic State of Iraq and Syria. Well, I watched a very graphic video of ISIS beheading 21 Christians on the beach simultaneously. So wake up before it's too late and give your life to Jesus Christ. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you shall be saved. Now back to the Revelation 12 sign. Right underneath Herodias is the asteroid ASAP. And Jesus Christ is coming ASAP. And his timing is perfect. And this sign just keeps getting bigger and clearer. And remember, the wise men, Caspar, Strong's 3956, means the whole picture. And that's what our Father is giving us. And he's telling us 2023. ASAP is also known as Asteroid 2023, the year we're in, family. But it gets even more gigantinormous. Sound the alarm. Blow the trumpet. It's right there. It was discovered on September 16th. And this year, that's the Feast of Trumpets. They blow the trumpets on the 16th. And ASAP, <laughs> praise our Father. A brother's the one that showed this to me. All glory to you, Father. ASAP actually means gatherer of people. Yes, you heard that right. ASAP means a gatherer of people. But it gets even bigger. Praise you, Father. Because we're looking at the Revelation 12 sign. And the Psalms of ASAP are the 12 Psalms. He wrote 12 Psalms, family. And that first one, 50, that's the one our brother sent. Thank you, bro. A psalm of Asaph. The mighty God, even the Lord, has spoken and called the earth from the rising of the sun unto the going down thereof. Out of Zion, the perfection of beauty, Goth, has shined. Our God shall come and shall not keep silence. A fire shall devour before him, and it shall be very tempestuous round about him. He shall call to the heavens from above and to the earth that he may judge his people. Gather my saints together unto me, those that have made a covenant with me by sacrifice. And the heavens shall declare his righteousness, for God is judge himself, Salah. 2023 ASAP. Put it together, family. And right to the left of ASAP is good hue. And the definition is a trusted servant. Matthew 25, 21, his Lord said unto him, Well done, thou good and faithful servant. Thou hast been faithful over a few things. I will make thee ruler over many things. Enter thou into thy joy of the Lord. Revelation 12, 5, And she brought forth a man-child who was to rule all nations with the rod of iron, and her child was caught up unto God and to his throne. And again, we're looking at the Revelation 12 sign. And as you can see right here, the surname of Goodhue was a baptismal name. The son of Goodhue, a favorite font name in the 12th century. And it just keeps getting bigger. And it just keeps getting clearer. You would have to be completely asleep in a coma not to see this. Right by her hand is the asteroid Alku. And the definition of Alku is... Start, beginning, inception, incipients. And as you can see on the bottom, Alku is also known as asteroid 3037. And when you go to Bible Strong's Concordance for 3037, the definition is a stone. The rock, Jesus Christ. Usage, a stone met of Jesus as the chief stone in a building. A millstone. 
each of two circular stones used for grinding grain. And that reminds me of the wheat. And you already know, it's in her hand. That's what Spica represents, the star Spica, right next to Orcus. And Orcus will be reaching Spica right after this sign happens. And Orcus means to bring forth the child. Like the woman clothed with the sun and the moon under her feet, Revelation 12, 5, and she brought forth a man-child. You can't make this up, family. This is our father's design. And right underneath Orcus is the asteroid Ukraina. And it's 1709, Ukraina. And if you look at the last sentence, it says, it was named in honor of Ukraine. And when you go to Strong's Greek 1709, the definition is to breathe on, to inhale. And Strong's Hebrew is a fish. And just a heads up, our father showed me the second wise man, Melchor. And he is in the fish family. And this is exactly how it looks on the Revelation 12 sign on September 19th, 2023, when the woman is clothed with the sun and the moon is under her feet. And all glory to our Father, thank you, Jesus Christ. He just reminded me. The asteroid Alku, it literally means it's a deal, an agreement, contract, treaty, a seven-year treaty. Our Father hasn't given us this many signs at once ever until now because He wants us to know that the day is approaching and He's about to send Jesus Christ to come and get us. He's about to come and gather us. All glory to our Father. I talked to our brother Daniel this morning and our Father showed him this asteroid Reese. It's right on top of the asteroid Miriam. And the asteroid Reese is also known as 1577 Reese. And I love Jesus Christ so much, family. Our father is so funny. Strong's 1577, the definition is an assembly, congregation, just like Joel chapter 2. Blow the trumpet in Zion, the word tells us. The day of the Lord cometh, the word tells us. A day of darkness and gloominess. Verse 16, like the Feast of Trumpets. Gather the people, sanctify the congregation, assemble the elders, gather the children. 1577 Reese. An assembly, a congregation, church, the whole body of Christian believers. Helps word studies. To call. People called out from the world and to God. The mystical body of Christ, i.e. the universal total body of believers whom God calls out of the world and into his eternal kingdom. Imagine that. We're going home. Keep your heads up. Don't let no one discourage you. You're not asleep. You're awake. You can see the sign. It's there. With the seven-year covenant on the same day, Jesus Christ went to prepare a place for us. And he's coming back to get us, to take us to that place in our Father's house where there's many mansions in the kingdom of heaven. That's not the second coming. We're going to heaven first, the marriage supper of the Lamb. So it's crunch time. He's coming to get us. And all glory to our Father, I want to give you a special thank you for everyone that's ever donated to this ministry. I praise God for you. I am so grateful because it has kept me laboring. And in 2017, he told Christina and me to drop the nets and quit working for man and follow him. And it took a lot of faith to do it. But I've been working for Jesus Christ full time since 2017, family. The word is true, Philippians 4.19. Our Father will supply all our needs according to the riches and glory by Christ Jesus. And he has and he will, his word's true, have faith, stand on the rock. And keep your eyes on him and hold on to him and don't let go. We're about to fly.